I will get up about 7.30, try to put my artwork out for the general public to see, put some bird seed out. I'll walk down to the beach and I'll also do a bird survey. My name's Walter Fuller and I'm the steward for Ormond Beach. I've had another title, Protector of Birds of Ormond. Uh, but as a steward, I like the title better. I was a janitor for 28 years when I was still working at Point Magoo. I would be coming here when my day's off and then my time off. That's when I first started out here. Ormond Beach in particular is pretty much the last wetlands on Southern California coast. Ormond Beach are these important pieces of habitat left because these species now have been so confined and there's limited numbers of places where they can breed and without a presence there to reinforce what the regulations are and sort of to keep an eye on these places if these birds are just not going to survive. You know what, I would recommend you go down the trail and go around that way, do the Arnold loop. I knew he was a volunteer, completely volunteer, a person out here trying to protect the wetlands when we didn't have and we still don't have enough protection for it and he would come out here and talk to the people and try to engage them about bird watching. Cindy Hartley is a bird monitor. She's out there right now doing a quick survey. About not doing negative things on the beach that would hurt the environment, hurt the endangered species. When you see one, who do you call? I call Marine Mammal Rescue. The word was starting to get out, and more and more he's become a legend. And we, we count on him, and hopefully can get him a little more help. The last year of my high school, my science teacher asked me to do a project for Earth Science, and I picked the Eagle family. I got my pair of binoculars, got my field guide, and off to the mountains I went. That gave me the inspiration to watch and uh, study birds in the wild. My mom was everything that I had, and after she passed away, I tried to hold on to my apartment. It just wasn't the same. Specific people were coming to city council meetings and speaking under public comment. The city must do something to protect the endangered species. Walter is the only one who will do it and he's volunteering his time. He's not even asking for money. So the city, at a minimum, what they can do is provide a storage container for a student groups and others that want to come down to Ormond Beach, learn more about what's going on with the natural habitat. Uh, and it was only later that it you know, became evident to us that this was Walter's full-time abode, and we needed to do something to get him out of this and get him into decent living conditions. I think it was important to provide something like a security trailer. It's more livable, and we found some money, and the whole council supported that. This is my trailer that City of Oxnard uh, loaned me. That's my daughter and that's my two grandkids uh, and my daughter running to see me. And that's my mom's uh, knickknacks that she cared for and loved to her, her life. Here's a picture, one of the pictures of my bald eagle that we had out here, number 67. I don't think of him as quote unquote caretaker. I like what's on his uniform, it says steward. It's a person who takes the protection of whatever they're responsible for very seriously. The snowy plover may put a nest down right here. Person walking with their son, 
beating down on them front. They just calmly walk by and, and step on it, and they wouldn't even think about it. The coastline is to Oxnard what I think Yosemite National Park is to Californians. Um, it's arguably some of the most beautiful parts of not just the state of California, but anywhere in the United States, if not the world. This should become a national seashore. And I see that Walter Fuller is the one, he is the guardian of that. We gotta be in the documentary. <laughs> well, right? you know mine? Come on, <laughs> What motivates me? Nature motivates me. I love being out in nature. I love taking care of nature. That's what motivates me. I'm the steward for Ormond Beach, but technically, we're all stewards for this earth.